So who knew that drama that started off so weak would end up with them losing hundreds of thousands of dollars by the end of the week? So the first clip that started it all off was... Hey, he's right. There is a lot of stuff that chat will never know. That's not anyone's business, I guess. But I mean, there was one time, what was it, like two years ago? I remember going over and... I mean, I won't say who, obviously, but every- Yeah, obviously I won't say who, because if I did, they could actually come out and defend themselves. Now, if they come out and defend themselves, I can just say, Oh, I wasn't talking about you, I was talking about somebody else. Every, almost every person I talk to shit talk S-Fan. Like, don't hang out with him, he's annoying. Like, he, he's he's here to get viewers. Don't don't be around him and shit. They I mean, that's pretty much like, oper like normal operating standard, is it not? Like, big streamers tell each other of who to be like careful of. You think they're just going to try to leech viewers off of you? Like that's standard. That's not drama. I did that all the time. I was literally told to avoid him. Like, and now look, now look at how everyone treats us, fan. Isn't that crazy? It's the same for uh, uh, Recful too. Like everyone said, don't hang out with the Recful. We can't help him. Blah 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 blah. And that last bit is kind of what caused like the most drama. Like using people's dead friend against them is kind of messed up. But like even like what she said, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. Like people think if like you have a friend who's ha going to like severe mental health issues, like you have to try to like do everything you can to try to save them and blah blah blah. But like it can be a huge toll on you, and you're not equipped to deal with that. So like if you can't handle someone having severe mental health problems, it's not your job to save them. So like if you have to step back from them, like there's no shame in that. Like it's, you should leave it to the professionals. It's just unfortunate that he didn't want to go see professionals. But yeah, that like that small thing was enough to put a target on OTK's back for this clip to come forward. To go somewhere for four days, like fly somewhere, Saudi Arabia, <laughs> for four days and play Fortnite. I'm not. This is a real deal. An offer, real offer. And uh, you know what's funny? In the end of the message, it says Miss Giff and Emery are going. <laughs> Of course they're going. <laughs> of course. Of course they're fucking going. Are you kidding me? Dr. Michaela's post about OTK. This clip shows up saying Poke calls out OTK as well. And like, if you don't know what's going on, like Saudi Arabia is doing this all over. Like every industry, they're like paying a bunch of golf people to go to Saudi Arabia to play in the desert. They're doing it with like wrestling, F1, like everything. So apparently they offered a bunch of streamers hundreds of thousands of dollars to go play in this Fortnite tournament for a couple of days. And Ms. Kiff and Emu said yes. Which is weird because Emu is an openly gay woman. I almost said female. Uh, would have made me look like an incel. Uh, but yeah, and if you don't know, uh, they're like, still modern day slavery, still kill gay people, it's still trying to be gay there. And there's like a really bad track record overall. And it looks like Oak is dogpiling on the drama against OGK right now. But what people didn't know is Poke actually said this four days before the first bit of drama started. So it wasn't him piling on, it was someone going back into old VODs and making it look like Poke is now calling out OTK because other people are. Like, I have to applaud whoever did that because there's already blood in the water. So they went back and found this clip and this blew up bigger than any other drama. And it ended up resulting in like Miss Kiff going on, like talking with Hassan and acting like, oh, I just had no idea Saudi Arabia was so bad. And since Miss Kiff has the persona of being an idiot, people bought it. But like, come on, really? I think everybody knows how bad Saudi Arabia is, especially when people pulled up his chat logs of two months ago of him asking, hey guys, is Saudi Arabia bad? And you always have people saying, oh, be careful of like being friends with streamers and not really your friends. I think this <laughs> is kind of what people are talking about. It's actually a funny story. Uh, Miz literally offhandedly like mentioned that to me like in like May. And then I was about to be like, Hey, maybe that's not a great idea. And then I thought about having to explain like geopolitics to Ms. Kiff in that moment. And it was just Each us in the room. Japan. And I just uh, said, oh, you know what? It's not worth it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, have fun. Uh, it sounds like a good time. I, maybe you should have <laughs> said something. Like, I mean, if your friend says, oh, we're going to go to Saudi Arabia, maybe you should have like, 30 seconds top, just be like, Saudi Arabia is a really bad place. They still have slavery. They kill gay people. Being gay is illegal. I feel like that alone is enough that Miz would have gotten the idea that it's not a good place to go. And then Miz Kiff 
came out and said, yes, I mean, of course, we're not going to Saudi Arabia. Now that we know it's so bad, we're not going to go. But Asmongold being Asmongold just had to prove like how like any social and like, ed like I don't even know it's like edgy. It's just like the way that I make all my decisions is a very simple question. Is this beneficial to me? And if it's beneficial to me, then I do it. That's it. Everything else below that is like, I would say it's subtext, but to be honest, it's not even on the page. That's it. Now, I, I, would, go I would do probably the Saudi Arabia thing, but there's no fucking way I'm going to travel. Uh, that's it. I just hate how like popular that mindset is. Like People in chat just eat that up. Like, oh yeah, just care about yourself. Like That's all that matters. Blah, 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 blah. Like, I wish Asmogol would just go back to hating on Blizzard 24-7 instead of just like trying to like prove like how much of a scumbag he is and like how much he doesn't care about anything like i like the worst part is is like the people who are going to eat that up eat that up and then the people who don't eat that up are going to come out and defend him and say oh it's actually just an act he doesn't actually believe that so he wins either way it's crazy to me that like drama of oh yeah big streamers are cautious around small streamers and they couldn't handle someone who had like severe mental health issues snowballed into like some of the biggest streamers on the platform losing out on hundreds of thousands of dollars in sponsorships just because someone was smart enough to go back into a VOD and pull a clip saying they had a sponsorship in Saudi Arabia when people were looking for blood from OTK. Crazy how the internet works.